Hi Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer Fawn. I do weekly tarot readings. I do not use the traditional meaning of the tarot, so I do not show the cards. I channel the messages. I he I he I hear, see, feel, and know the messages. Um, the cards are just kind of like something to um, distract me so that the messages can come in. For example, I could pull the same card for two different um, signs and I'll get two completely different messages. So I just feel it's pointless to show them. So if you don't mind, keep watching. Um, if this message resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. I love hearing your guys' feedback on the readings. Make sure you like and subscribe. And let's get this journey started. Three more shuffles for Capricorn. Oh. Okay. There's something very like, I don't know how else to say it, intimate about this energy. It feels very much like being completely lost in somebody or wrapped up in somebody or passionate about somebody or new, like when you're in a new relationship and um, this could be a new, this could be a promotion at work, a new job, a new, you know, um, a new relationship. Something about this feels very new, very exciting, very passionate, very connected, very, um, I, I wanna say like exposed or vulnerable or like you're finally taking off all the layers and getting to your true self or your true purpose or you're with your true partner or you're realizing maybe you're with the wrong partner but your true partner is like showing up here. Um, maybe, maybe your fears are all those things like um, you feel exposed or vulnerable or feeling like s something's going to be found out. Excuse me, I kicked the camera. I do that at least one reading a week, maybe three. I don't know. <sighs> one, maybe three. That might mean something to you. <laughs> um, maybe you're worried that something's going to come out or something's going to be exposed or maybe you have like a little side piece or maybe... Um, cause I'm feeling there's like a lot of passion. There could be somebody like I'm getting like secret messages or secret communication or secret text, or you could be having, um, secrets from like, like secrets with a friend and like not the other group of friends or, um, because I'm feeling like there's a lot of passion about something, but then there's a lot of like, there's a lot of mental activity around this passion too. I feel like it's going to bring you to a, it, it, it feels overall kind of good. What do I mean by kind of good? It feels overall like it's a good energy, but maybe there's a lot of like drama right now about it. But overall, it's a move towards what's best, what feels best for you. But it may be like a difficult um, journey to go through. Like there could, it may, like for example, if it's a divorce, like going through getting the attorney, the timeline, the paperwork, signing them, the back and forth. But at the end of that, you're going to be with your soulmate or the person you're really, really in love with passionate about and you feel connected with but like the process of getting there is like not the not the funnest you know but I feel like that's the energy it's like okay we know we have to go through all this stuff it's not going to be easy but it's so worth it 
it's like a brand new start or a moving in a totally new cycle. Um, or maybe you felt like you just went through the grind of something and you went through the process of it being really hard and difficult and now you're like reaping the rewards of all that hard work or you're looking back on the past year of like, wow, look how far I've come. I've really grown a lot. I, real, I feel really stable on my own two feet. I found what I'm passionate and vulnerable about. Vulnerable about. I found what I'm passionate about. Um, you feel exposed maybe just because you're stepping more into like the public eye or on a stage or performing or you've just found your um your thing you know excuse me i just try not to have a boob pop out speaking of exposed here <laughs> and it's very much that energy though it feels like when you're stripping down in front of somebody for the first time naked you know it's exciting but it's also terrifying because it's the first time, it's new, it's fresh, it, it gets you excited, but you're still like mentally in the mental space of it all. I don't know what's happening with you Capricorn, but you know what's happening with you. So take it how it resonates. It could be personal, it could be relationship, it could be you know workplace, it could be family. You could be coming out actually to your family and, and letting them know something about you, like your sexuality or who you really are or you know you're finally just exposing yourself like this is who I really am I'm, this is what I really want or you're just finally standing firm in like who you are and like maybe in the past you would have let I feel like I can't breathe this could be something that's making you very anxious or very nervous like for example if you had to get up on a stage and speak you could have like stage fright um, but like that's exciting too, right? So it's like that kind of feeling. But I'm feeling like this is more of something like even if it's making you nervous or anxious, it's something that you're excited about in a good way. Um, no matter what it looks like or what it looks like, right now you're feeling optimistic about it overall because it's it's you're just aware of the work it's going to take and you've accepted that or you've done all the work and you're there right now and it's like... I can only go up from here. You could literally be rolling in the money. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you're at the top, you've made it, whatever that, the top of whatever that is for you. It could be a person, it could be your dream career. But I feel like you're at the top of it. Now you're just like, I keep getting the image of like rolling in a bed, like rolling around in money. Like maybe from now, from like right here now today, and looking back like a year ago, you've come up a lot in like financially um, as far as like your income or your success has really rose a lot because I'm definitely seeing like, I see a pyramid in my mind. I hope this doesn't mean like a pyramid like scheme, but I'm seeing like a pyramid in my mind, like an, and it's like a solid foundation. Like you build a solid foundation, like in your mind, you can only see like up from here, or success from here no matter how hard the climb is going to be or was, I just feel like you're sitting up and you're just feeling overall good about whatever's happening in your life. Um, maybe you feel like you can breathe now. Maybe in the past you were like very anxious about everything, not knowing how it's going to work out. And now you're very much feeling um, like grounded and you did all the work and it all paid off and or what you visualized happened and it just feels good excuse me i'm gonna light some more uh, um you can just be feeling really good about you know what you've created or maybe you're just like really proud of yourself about what you've created and really just grinding and doing the work you could have people around you who maybe were at the process of when it started um, and they could be looking in, they could be looking in on you and, and thinking to themselves like, wow, we started this together, but they went so much further than me. Like, what's the difference? They could be comparing themselves to you. Like, what did they do? We did it together. And you, you could have actually done something with someone like together. Like you, it was very much like you were in it together, but somehow you surpassed them. And maybe they're confused about that. Like, what did... Maybe they're feeling like some stuff went down on the low, like some deals behind closed doors. Cause now I'm getting the energy of like, 
something happening behind closed doors or somebody feeling like something happened behind closed doors or like there something just doesn't add up or something doesn't seem right or there was some sort of snaky shady type something because they're just not understanding how you have made it so far compared to all the other people so there's like a, I feel like there's a group like how did you make it so far compared to all the other people who are grinding or doing the same amount of work as you were doing when you were doing it or you guys were doing it together so you may have a lot of people talking behind your back gosh this is an overall energy I just want to say I keep picking this up in a lot of the readings it is Scorpio season, and we just had the Scorpio new moon. Oh, there we go. Excuse me. It feels, if the energy got really heavy. It, it feels like, I'm sorry if it's getting smoky, but like, yeah, take some of that in. <laughs> Protect yourself. <laughs> Clear yourself. It feels like there may be a lot of people talking behind your back, or you're talking behind people's back, or there's something happening in the dark, I feel like. But I feel like now maybe it's come to light where people start to realize like, this doesn't make sense. Like, how did this happen for them and not for me? Or like, we did this all together and how come they're like way more successful than I am? Or people could quite literally be thinking about you as like a teacher's pet or like a butt kisser, ass kisser, okay? Um, you could be feeling that way about other people or it could be other people feeling that way about you. Listen, this is just what I get. I'm not saying you're that or I feel that way about you. That's just the message that I'm getting. You'll know if it resonates for you or you'll find out if it resonates for you. If it does, let me know down in the comments. Like I said, I love hearing the feedback because I just get what I get, okay? But I feel like no matter what, if this is you or the people you're dealing with or however it applies, you don't really care. You don't really care what people think, what they're saying behind closed doors, if they're talking about you, if there's this two-faced energy. I feel like you don't care because you are so happy with where you're at. You don't care what you had to do to get there. You're good. You're at the top. There's definitely something feeling superior about this energy. Um, maybe you're just like, I did all I did all the hard work. I did this. I did that. Like I deserve to be here. Like I worked really freaking hard. But for some reason, I'm feeling there's an energy of like a partner or somebody was with you. Like literally could have been with you like right there next to you. So for example, if like you're on a stage, we'll just say like, because this is how I'm getting it. Okay, so I'm getting the story. If you're on a stage, for example, like say in a band and you know how sometimes they'll, okay, like Beyonce, for example, she was what? Uh, Destiny's Child. So it feels like that kind of energy, like everyone was out there they were all on stage together they were all performing but some not somehow it Beyonce became like the star of the group and then there was all this talk about how she's gonna be you know like she's coming she's leaving the group she's gonna be what is it called she's gonna be solo a solo artist and then everybody had their opinions about like, oh, that's really messed up. They like grew to success together. Is she leaving? Is Was this a group decision? But it feels like that kind of energy. Like there's an energy here. It could be your significant other. You could be getting a divorce. You could be leaving their part, your partner. It wants to come in really fast now. Like I need to explain myself and I need to get out quickly. It, it, it feels like if it was like your husband or something, it's like you, you were with them. You did the grind. You did all the work. They supported you. I don't even want to say supported you. They were there with you through the process, maybe not even in support of you, just there with you. Meaning you guys were in a relationship, they weren't like with you when you were working, but, um, and now that you're successful, you're kind of like, you know what, I don't want to be with you anymore. Or if like you were in a band together or on stage with someone, it's kind of like they were there with you the whole time, each time you're up on stage or you kind of did the grind together, but somehow you're like the Beyonce and you somehow have rose to the top and they're not standing with you anymore. It's that kind of energy. So they're wondering, questioning, like what was so different about her? What, her? I don't, that's just how it came out. Her, you'll know how that applies. What's so different about her or this person that they did that? There could be kinds of, I wanna say snaky conversations going on behind your back about maybe an affair or you know how sometimes in the music industry and I don't know why this is the imagery I'm getting 
but like people will say that you have to sleep with a lot of people to get to the top. People could be saying that like you're having an affair with someone, which is why you got the raise or the promotion or the job or I don't know. There's feels something in the dark about it. It could be true or not true. They could just be talking. People could just be talking because they can't understand like why you when we were all in it together. Or there could have been actual um, talks about this. Like if you joined it as a group like and had conversations like we're going to grind. We're going to do this together. We're going to work really hard. We're going to be really sex, success, sex, sex at this. Um, successful at this. Um and it was very much like, yeah, we're in this together. And I keep getting the picture of three people. Three people are in this together. Three females, even, is what I'm getting. Three females were in this together. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to help each other out. We have each other's back. You know, I'm always going to do this with you. You always do this with me. And then somehow there was a shift. And then it was just maybe this one girl with the other girl and one was left out. And then it was just those two. And, and the, oh, this is how I'm getting it. Okay, so there's like three people to this dynamic and I feel like it's the same sex, three same sex people. So there's like, there was a group of three, then two ventured off, the one felt left behind. Then those two were grinding together still and the one was feeling bitter about it. Then those two were grinding together and then one of them stepped off from the two and then somehow just became like, the primary, the primary person. Like that's how I'm getting like the primary person. So the third one's kind of like understanding it. The first one that got left behind, the second one's kind of like, well, I was there much longer. What happened? And this person's left me in the dust. So maybe there's just that negative energy coming towards you. Like now everyone's just like, wow, you're a sneaky snake. What did you do? You left us all behind. This is a very, I feel like it's a very specific message. And I always feel like this is like for one person, but then I'll get comments like, oh my gosh, this was 100% for me, resonated with me. I'll get messages on Instagram, people like, oh my gosh, can we do private readings, which I've been getting a lot of requests for that. I'm working on it um, because it's just accurate. And it always surprises me how accurate it can be for so many people. Because to me, it feels like a very like, I'm talking to you, Capricorn, you know, like it's one person. So I love that you guys are hearing what you're meant to hear in the messages. I got off track there, but th this is the energy that I'm in. I feel like I need to explain myself. You could be getting people reaching out to you, demanding an explanation or wanting to know that exactly, like what happened? Or I thought we were in this together. Or how, how did you get p past me? Like what ha where did I go wrong almost? Like what happened? Um... I want to, they're feeling very much left behind, like somebody's on top, somebody's at the top, and they're just kind of like a couple steps below you, but they were with, you were with them, like it feels like yesterday. Like yesterday you're with them together and we were in it together, but then the next day you're like three levels up and they're kind of confused and wanting to know or trying to understand. But I feel like the energy is kind of like, there's some kind of sneaky, like, it's like an affair kind of energy. It doesn't have to be an affair, but it feels like that. You know how like the energy of an affair can feel? Like very sneaky, everyone's talking. Nobody really knows the answers. Nobody's really asking directly, like what's going on with you and so-and-so. It's just all this chatter behind you. Like there's a lot of talk of going on around behind you. There's a lot of smoke energy. Oh my goodness, that's crazy because I felt like I needed to light that. And all the smoke there. Okay, so what do I mean by smoke energy? So like. There's a lot of like, um, there's a lot of, it's like burning, okay? There's like this burning passion. There's all this smoke being created, but it hasn't really lit up on fire yet. It's at the beginning phases of like the chatter, the talk, what's going on, what's going on, but it hasn't really come to light yet. It hasn't really come to life yet. It really hasn't been exposed. It really hasn't been lit up on fire yet. It's just the, the smoking phase of like, you know, the 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 in the darkness you can you can't see through the smoke it's kind of foggy you don't really know what's going on the uncertainty that kind of energy i'm on 19 minutes and i felt like i didn't really say anything <laughs> capricorn i'm gonna leave it there i hope that this resonated with you again if it does please leave me feedback well, let me know what's going on um make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe share it with somebody 
who's a Capricorn or is dealing with a Capricorn. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.